Okay, what's up everybody? Fibber's Fishing here, back with another YouTube video, guys. And today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be fishing a uh, place I've been to before, but never really have caught anything here. Just left pretty much, rather pretty quick. But um, the place that we're going to be fishing today is uh, called Valley Falls. It is like literally like a dream place. It's literally an amazing, it looks so damn nice here. Um, it's just crazy. Like the visibility in the water is about probably, if I would say so, at least every bit of uh, six feet, maybe even more. It may be even like close to like seven or eight, but it's every bit of six feet visibility right now. Um, and uh, yeah, and I've already seen a small mouth. It was like chilling right over here by these rocks. So I'm gonna see if I can catch him. He wasn't that big. He uh, was looking at my spinner. Um, there's trout in here, there's small mouth. I mean, I've really never been here. I've, I've only been here once, and I really never been safe for too long, so really don't know what's all in here, but uh, yeah, let's uh, see if we can catch any fish. Can I hear snake? I want to walk there. I want to try to scare him, but there's snake skin too. Fuck. Well, now that's all I'm going to be thinking about. God damn it. Okay. I guess I'm just going to like get on these tall rocks. You just hop from each one. Because I am not going by that water. That snake right there is acting like I can't see him. But he's like really, really obvious. He like thinks that I can't see him. But he's like really, really obvious. He's a really obvious snake. Now he's small. He probably couldn't do too much damage. But it's a snake and I'm not going to take, uh, take any risks. So I'm just going to try to uh, stay out of the way of uh, any kind of snakes. And there are tons of minnows here. Guys, I wish my GoPro could actually show up how clear this water is because this water is just crazy clear. I'm not seeing any fish in this part, which we did move a little bit, a little bit downstream because this spot looked really calm, which it is really calm, but just not seeing any fish. Just crazy. I would have thought like this would have been like the hot spot for the fish because how calm the water is compared to all the way up there where I saw a couple I saw like a small mouth caught saw a couple panfish which I don't understand why they won't be down here because you guys can't probably see it all the way over there but there are a lot of rapids and this spot is just a very calm spot and I don't see any fish but I can tell people have fished here because I've have seen um sticks like sticks where uh, people have put their rods for rod holders so there's trout and everything in here, so. Yeah, I have seen life of people being here, but just no life of any fish. See a couple little guppies uh, swimming around so far in this spot, but see them down there, but just nothing too big, like nothing I'm going for. Right now I'm just using a little like uh, golden spinner. Um, I forget what I forget what brand it is. Um, yeah, I forget the brand. It's just a little mini golden spinner. It's good for trout. Oh, there's another snake, bro. That's the second snake of the day. Dang it, dude. Oh, dude, all these little guppies. There's like thousands of little guppies. I don't even know what those are. They may be guppies. I don't know. They actually, I don't know. I don't know if there's walleye in here, but those kind of kind of look like some baby walleye. I really don't know. I don't know what's all in here. So I'm kind of just guessing on these little minnows. I said they could be guppies, but I am not sure 100% because they look pretty aggressive. I mean, they were following a golden spinner that were more than half of their sizes. So, yeah, don't know what kind of, um, don't know what kind of fish they are. So, nothing in here was just insects. All right, we're just going to hop back across, get to the other place that we were at, and probably go a little bit more up, but... I don't know where these fish would be right now. So it's really just a guessing game since I've never been here before. I try to look up YouTube videos of people fishing here, but there's like no videos of the name like in there. So um, 
Yeah, yeah there's like no like names of people fishing Valley Falls. There's only a couple I saw, but all of them were just like talking about it, more scenery kind of thing, instead of uh, fishing. I saw one guy on a YouTube video that was fishing, it was like eight years ago, and he only said like what he caught. So, yeah, not the best information, but it's better to know what a couple of species are in here before, or you know, other than nothing. Do I had one, or do I have one? Oh no, I just have a stick. No, I have someone else's line. Come on guys, why do people have to do this? Why do people have to leave their damn line here? What is that? Oh, that's a little guppy right there. Okay. Someone left their uh, lure here. This water is crazy warm. Oh, gosh. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Holy fuck, I just fell. Oh, fuck me. Jeez. Okay, guys, if you, I, I'm definitely going to be showing that clip. Um... I was trying to get my lure out of the, someone else's fucking line. Uh, thanks that dude that left his line in the water. Uh, uh, props to you for uh, letting me fall on that. But I uh, fell. I have a crack in my phone screen. And sorry, guys, but it's in a life proof case. So, so thank God, guys, uh, I didn't fall um, and my phone didn't get soaked too much. My GoPro would be fine because it is a Hero 5, it's waterproof and everything, but that just, me falling in that water scared the shit out of me because the only thing I thought about was my phone. Oh, there's a small right there. Got one. Got a little smolly on this little bait. Sweet. There we are. Nice little. Dude, this is a valley sm falls smolly right here. Choke this little bait too. I even because all these fish are way too small for what I was using. So I was like, I see all these minnows. There are like thousands of little tiny baby little tiny minnows. Um, I don't know what they are. They may be. Uh, I don't think they're creek chubs, but there's something. And this smallie's been like sitting all around. And I was like, this has to be like good. So, okay guys, there we are, got them. And I don't know if you guys, if it shows up on the GoPro, but if you guys can see there are all these black dots on them, they look just like tadpole eggs. So it looks like this guy might've been in a tadpole area, just getting some tadpole eggs, but I got the hook out of him. He's not bleeding, he's fine, got him some water. So I'm just gonna take a quick picture and then we're gonna get a release. Okay, yeah, this water is just so clear. I don't know how sh how good it's gonna show up on camera. But this little smallie, I just saw him go after and he just took it. Back out. Nothing wrong with going off in a daydream. In a daydream, nothing. Okay guys, there's a second smallie of the spot. First one, uh, I like could not keep a hold of it, so it went out of my hands. So I think the audio also sounds really trash, just that I'm right by this um, big waterfall. So yeah, the audio is gonna sound really bad. I have to literally yell to kind of talk. So uh, yeah, here, let's get a release. Okay guys, so we're just bouncing this fish right off the bottom. Uh, I was literally bouncing it like so close to the bottom that I was just laying there. And then when I bounced it up, when I was about to reel it in, this fish just came up and bit it. So this is actually a really good smallmouth spot. Uh, most, sadly, most of them are just dinks, but I've seen the biggest smallmouth I've seen in here and haven't caught is like probably a pound. So let's release this guy and uh, try to get some more. Uh, he ate it, but he spit it out immediately. He didn't actually eat it, eat it, so that's why I didn't hook him. Oh, he sees it now. Doesn't want it. 
He's getting way too far away anyway, so I can't cast that far. Oh, look at that carp. There's a massive carp right here. Oh, someone took it. There's a small one. There's like three of them right there. Oh, he's all muddy. Yeah, seriously. Okay, I'm gonna put him this way and I'm gonna go down there and wash him off. Just, I don't wanna go down there because, yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do, go back down here, rinse him off. Already got him unhooked, so. These smallies are so much fun to catch, though. This one doesn't have the eggs on them, though. Like the weird eggs that the last two had. Okay, we're gonna get a release on this guy. Hey, guys. Just go under and set free. 